Good morning. Good morning on a Wednesday snowy morning in Northwestern PA. It is a great morning for self-care and welcome. It's Marlene here reviewing with you five pillars of self-care. And today we're going to look at our third pillar, which is taste. Mmm, taste. So what is taste? Taste is actually the ability to tell the difference between flavors in your mouth. Taste is the ability to tell the difference between flavors in your mouth. And one reason that taste is important is it prepares our body for the digestion of the food and the eating of the food nourishes the body, fuels this machine, this unique and wonderful machine that we really need to take care of ourselves. There are five basic tastes, salty, bitter, sweet, sour, and a relatively new one which has been added is meaty. Today, I thought we might take a look at sour. Food has endless possibilities for mindfulness and self-care. And possibly before I started this series in self-care and relating our senses to self-care, I really was not as mindful, which is the word for this, this decade, of how important taste is. Now, I am a foodie. I can share that with you. I absolutely love food. And uh, I am all about flavors and tasting. And I'm also about self-care in terms of nourishing our bodies. But in addition to providing nourishment, the food we eat can bring us joy. And I'm all about joy. Joy, joy, joy. And there is something, something to be said for that sentimental component of food and memories that are associated with cooking and eating that can remind us of special events, special people, and or special places. And as we are into this holiday season, our tastes may remind us of special people, special places, and or special events. A special person that comes to my mind was my grandmother, Mama. Oh boy. And some of you that may be viewing this either now or even later may, may remember Mama. And Mama was a tyrant. And uh, she was very adamant and very emphatic about what she believed and in giving direction. And one of her directions, she made a wonderful salad, and one of her directions after we would eat the salad would be to drink the dressing. And you would drink the dressing because of the vinegar that was in the salad. And the vinegar that was in the salad was an apple cider vinegar because she told me that if you drank that salad dressing, that vinegar, it was a good physic. Well, there I am drinking the vinegar and understanding what the heck is a good physic. Well, it is an early morning and hopefully all of you have had your good morning physic. But today I thought I would introduce to you 
the latest and greatest apple cider vinegar, which vinegar is considered a sour. And some of you may be familiar with the already apple cider vinegar and, and the wonderful and the beneficial properties of apple cider vinegar or vinegars in general. We know that, that vinegar can help with our heart health. It also can help with diabetes in balancing our blood sugar. It has been studied in terms of weight management. So a teaspoon of vinegar in the morning or added to your hot water or added to your shake may be a way to incorporate that vinegar into your early morning nourishment. It also is important for skin care, but today we are talking about flavors and how vinegar can enhance the flavors of foods. I'd also like to share with you, for, you may be a, a tea drinker, and so possibly you could be drinking a, a wonderful tea that is a blackberry apple cider digestive awakening. There we go again, dear mamma. Your tip wasn't so far away from one of those old wives' tales. May you rest in peace. So for today, my challenge to you is when we are feeling a certain way, sometimes food can be an indicator of what we are really experiencing emotionally whether we are having that craving for a salt, for a sweet, for that wonderful, wonderful bitterness, or even a sour. Pay attention to those flavors and what kind of self-care may we really be craving it is, it is a wonderful, wonderful day. And so what I'd like to leave you with is enjoy the flavors of life. Take that test and pause, knowing that you are strong, stretched, and centered. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and clink. <laughs>